Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun. She puts her hand in my... Hello there and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Daphne. Thank you so much for joining me today. Well, I gave you a sneak peek last week of what we were going to be doing this week. And I have to say we are doing a privacy screen for the side patio. We remade over the side patio a couple of weeks ago where we changed our unused side patio that we have never used for the past 14 years into a beautiful secret patio and when doing so I talked about the need to be able to have some privacy and I wasn't sure what we were going to do so over the last couple of weeks I decided that I was going to do a privacy screen and today is the day that we're going to get started on it so I just got back from Lowe's. I picked up some um, uh, one and a quarter inch by, um, I think it's six inches by eight feet. And these are pressure treated boards and we're just going to put them up on the table. And yes, I listened to you guys. I made sure that I took the time to set up a workspace so that I'm not down on the ground and that I'm comfortable while I'm doing like all of the staining. So I wanted to give you a close up look of the stain that we have been using. It's from Bear. It's a waterproofing wood stain and it's in the color Slate. And this is a solid stain and I absolutely love it. If you wanna see a bunch of different applications that we've been using this stain and then also the semi-transparent stain, um, I will have that video linked in the description. It was my last video where I just did a recap and I gave you an update of where we are with all of the projects that we've been doing since spring and summer of this year. So we are going in and we're just gonna stain these boards before we attach them. And I am doing two coats on each side. So right now I'm just doing the top coat and I'm making sure I get the sides of all of them. And then I'm just gonna let it dry, um, you know, for about an hour in between. And as I'm doing like the boards, I'm interchanging them. And then we're gonna go and to the side so that we can remove the um, vegetation that's still there. We had a humongous weed that has been growing as long as we have been here, which has been 14 years. And we're gonna take care of the last little bit of that before we start making the privacy screen. So I hope that you guys are excited to be able to get this project underway.
So we're gonna head on over to the side patio. This is the area that we're gonna be working on and I got this long um, pole saw and it's a little awkward in this space because as you can see our patio and the pathway that I'm on is actually my neighbor's pathway which is the reason why I did not know that this little uh, two foot section with the weeds is actually our property. So for 14 years, I have been looking sideways at my neighbor thinking that they were not cutting their weeds and it actually was ours. So when I found out that it was actually ours, I knew that I had to take care of it, take back the space and be able to make the patio um, you know be able to be usable for us so i went and i chopped it all the way down to the ground it's about a uh, half a foot left um so we need to be able to pull up that uh, stump but today's not the day so what i did was i went on amazon and i didn't want to have to put these posts which are a four by four inch post into concrete so i went and i purchased these anchors i'm going to have them linked inside of my amazon storefront they are amazing so all you had to do was take a scrap piece of lumber and just bang it into the ground and there's no need to have any type of concrete and they went in very easy the only uh, problem that we had was just in one spot because there's a lot of like tree roots over there but if you don't have you know roots to contend with they go in very easy and even with all of the roots it took us like a couple of minutes to be able to get them in so this is with them all drove in to the ground and they go into the ground about 30 inches so you won't have any problems with you know upheaval uh, once it frost so then we attach the 4x4 post and we're using um, eight feet long post and now I'm back on the patio and we're just going in and we're pre-drilling all of the stain boards that we already did we're also uh, prepping and just putting the screws in slightly so that once we put it up to the post it's much easier to be able to drill them in So I'm working with my drill and also um, my driver. So this one is set up for me to do all of my drills. I'm using my um, uh, square. So I'm using that as a gauge so that I put everything all lined up so that it's very easy for once we grab the boards and we put them to be able to attach them. Now I have to say my husband and my son have been helping me tremendously in this project but they don't necessarily like to be filmed. So you'll see them here and there. I'm trying to like show the footage where it's just me working, but definitely know that it's all three of us out here working on this project. They really helped me out a lot because you need several hands to be able to get this attached. As you can see, Alex is, um, you know, balancing the boards. My husband's at the other end, and then I'm drilling into the uh, four by four. One of us is holding the level so that everything is totally level because we wanted to make sure that this project looked professional.
this is so funny it was so windy this day and for some reason i'm like sitting i mean standing there trying to hold down the bag meanwhile all I needed to do was just move around and, you know, fix it once I had the boards up there. But I left it in because I just thought it was so funny. Like, while you're doing things, you don't realize how silly you look or, you know, how the silly things that you do while you work. So I just was laughing when I was sitting here editing. So I just wanted to leave that in so that you guys can see uh, what I do when I'm doing my DIYs. So... I had to go back to Lowe's again today because the lumber that was there and still there was not in the best quality. So I was just trying to pick through the best of the worst and be able to get enough boards to be able to finish this project. So on this day, we still did not get enough boards, but we got enough to be able to move forward with it. So this is how we're looking um, before we are going to be attaching the boards that I just stained. I'm letting them dry. I just wanted to give you a close up so you can see what we did yesterday with all the boards that we were able to um, stain and attach. So what I decided that I was gonna do was come and just do the staining on the post and also do the backside of these boards. Now in the staining that I was doing today, I'm making sure that I do front and back of the board so that I don't have to come back and stain it after it's already attached to uh, the post. So I learned my lesson yesterday to make sure that I take enough time to be able to do the prep work, not only the front, but just to make sure that I do the front and the back. Now this project is no different from every other project that I do. I make sure that I work in short increments of time. On this project, I was doing it in stages. So I was staining out here. I was working on the actual patio and then I was also working in the backyard. It has been amazing. The fall weather has definitely, you know, come my way. And I think that we're through with the hot, hot days of summer and I am enjoying the change of weather. I always do each and every year. So leave me a comment down below and let me know if your area is feeling like it's, you know, transitioning into the fall season. I know a lot of people are still having those like high 80s, 90, you know, degree weather. So drop down in the comment section and let me know where you're watching from and what the weather is. And, you know, if you have any projects, you know, for the fall, I love this time of year because you're able to, you know, do all of those projects, those maintenance things that you're not able to do during the hotter months. So this is definitely something that I wanted to tackle as soon as the weather cooled off. So this is how we're looking. Um, I just, uh, we just attached the bottom three boards that was uh, two coats stained. Now on the top boards, I had only did one coat of stain. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do the second coat while they're hanging here. But you can really see the difference between the top boards and the last three. I absolutely love the way that the stain is coming out. So I'm showing you the back side of it and it looks amazing. We are going to be adding in about four more rows but I just wanted to take this time um, to be able to just clean up the lower portion of this bed. So eventually I'm gonna cut that stump all the way down to grade level. I just didn't get a chance to do it um, today because we were contending with all of the rain. So one of the other reasons why I'm taking it slow is because every time I got started, it would start raining. As I'm putting down this one bag of mulch, it really started raining. So I was only able to get this down. Then I went inside and I waited, you know, for the, the uh, weather to uh, pass and for it to stop raining. But whenever it cleared up, I was right back out here doing a little bit and then I would go back inside. And I've been transitioning over to this cedar mulch, which is really healthy and I absolutely love the color of it. And slowly but surely, I'm going to underplant this privacy screen. 
but in this video I'm not going to get a chance to be able to um, to do the under planting but I was able to complete the entire uh, privacy screen and I love the seclusion that it makes here on the patio so I'm just going in and I'm blowing away like all of the sawdust and all of the debris that you know we caused here on the patio while we were working on the privacy screen. I'm also going to clean it, you know, just wet it down and also sweep it off. And then we're going to um, clean off the actual rockers that we had attached here. And we're gonna put all of the furniture back in, in its uh, spot. And then we're just gonna do a little light decorating and we're gonna enjoy the space. I just wanted to mention that eventually I'm going to be doing like little cap posts at the bottom of the four by four uh, wood spikes. I just wasn't able to get it accomplished um, on this day. So do you guys remember how this space looked before we did the makeover? I'm gonna pop an image up on the screen so that you can take a look back at where we started from. And I absolutely love the way that this space has turned out. And I am so happy that I decided to do a full privacy screen wall and just be able to block out the view of my neighbors and their door, which is right on the other side of this. It just makes it look so cozy. So let me know how you like the privacy screen, if you thought that I would go in this direction or if you thought that I would keep up the tree that was there. Well, it actually was a weed, but it, the weed turned into like a mini tree and it was just out of control. So this is another look back at how you know the privacy screen looks up against these rockers before we start decorating. So I hope that you guys enjoy. So we're just gonna wipe down the chairs and we're gonna do a little light decorating and then we're gonna go into the final reveal. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. And at the end of the video, we're gonna do a quick look back at some recent projects. So I hope that you, if you haven't already watched those projects, the playlist is gonna be linked in the description so you can check them out. They are some really amazing um, projects that we worked on this year. So I hope that you stop by and enjoy them as well. And if you haven't already subscribed, you're welcome to subscribe and leave me a comment down below introducing yourself. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoy the reveal and I'll see you back here next Sunday. Till then, have a blessed day.